Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a bigger promo design, you know, for Instagram story. We'll be using the Instagram story um, dimension, okay, and um, let's say you had a client who needed, you know, some professional designs for uh, their Instagram stories just to be able to promote some of the foods or some of the dishes they sell or some of the meals they sell. How would you go about it so in this tutorial i'll be taking you step by step design this it's going to be a minimal design but very professional so stay tuned and right after the intro we shall get started okay so we are back and um like i said we'll get started when um the intro and so yes how are we going to do this the first thing i would just want you to know is once you check in the link okay or in the description not the link the description below there's a link to a google drive okay and um let me just show you how it is from here before we get started quickly so google drive um okay so there's some um, i i tried to create folders okay so um tutorial files okay and we have all of these and so once you come into food you'd find the image okay so you can just pick it from here and we can get started okay so the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design and select instagram story and um this is how you know this is the dimension i think it's 19 1080 by 10 9, um yeah i think the dimension is 1080 by 1920 yeah so this is how it's going to look like and um the first thing we need to do is to import our um burger okay so i'll come into upload then i click on device and it should open this okay so this is my burger i click for it to get uploaded so you can see my burger has been uploaded it's weird that now you can import foods to your computer <laughs> but you can't eat them that's the only thing okay so i make my burger bigger okay and i center it and if you want to be sure about the centering and the positioning what you can do is to click on your design come to position you know we have the middle and the um center so let's say i position my image here i can come here center and middle as simple as that okay now um next thing we are going to do is to come into element and click and search for um brush okay b r u s a brush stroke okay and um we would find something like this we have several options but um uh, would only go for one particular one and um you know you can actually choose anyone at all you want okay i'll go for this and you can also go for anyone at all you want then we make it bigger and we turn it this way okay then we right click and send it to the back then what we can do is you know because it's white so we can't really see the difference so you come into colors to change it and you can use this you can also use orange normally orange really works okay you know orange is not really far from brown you get it so we can okay let me just use the color i found here and adjust a little bit you know make it brighter so we have something like this so I can you know, move it here and then um, I also want to make it bigger okay not too big but um, it should be moderate okay so something like this okay so you can see what we have at the moment and now we just have to change this to maybe gray but not too grayish grayish or something like that so I just come to the color and I shift it up a little bit you know so it's like an off-white kind of thing okay not too white not too a uh, kind of thing in my country you would say is honey hot okay like not too hot not too cold so honey hot or mojo mojo <laughs> sorry you don't understand but i'm just trying to say something like look warm you know up white yeah that's how we say it over here so we would add some text okay but before we add the text i want us to add a call to action okay so i can come okay we are already in element and we'll go into the shapes you can use a rectangle okay or you can use the curved 
you know the rectangle with the curved um angles okay so we just push it here and since it's going to our stories um it's always good to have a call to action okay so i put it here and i add some text and i can just see order now okay then we always love to change text okay so we come into our um, typeface section over here and you can use any one at all you want but um i would go for the montserrat classic if you want to go for montserrat classic to that you know, that's totally fine but you know you can also feel free to choose um any font at all you want so you can see how i have it over here then we can just duplicate this text and bring it down and change the color to a you know a darker gray okay so you can choose this one okay this gray over here you definitely see it on your canvas this the same uh, thing okay so we would put our website here so www dot let's say i have a food website so food dot um the african geeks geek dot net okay so this is what we have at the moment and i'll put it here okay it's always good to have your website because um you also want to be driving traffic okay to your website so now that we have this what can we do next i want to add something like an arrow okay so i come here and i search for arrow then um we would look for a curved arrow you know a curved um, arrow like that so we can use this one with it okay and move it here then i can use a darker gray something like this okay and rotate it more so that we can see if you want it you order that's that's what we are just trying to um tell them so coming to the top we we'll would come to text okay and um once you go on text click on add a heading and by the way if you can hear a chicken um coca coca do is it i don't know but um there's I, I i i found out that um in the u.s you guys say coca is something something i do do or something like that but over here we say kokuro ko okay are you people say coca i don't know how but something like coca coca do or something of that sort let me know in the comment section if you know what i'm talking about i just can't remember um, how to pronounce it okay so we come here okay and one thing about creating this type of um designs is you want the font to match what you are um you know, what you're going to get for example let's check um beggar king okay and you see the type of text they use for their designs okay because we they are the masters in the game in terms of beggars okay so we can look at them you can see the type of font they use so let me just go to images so that you can see and have an idea of the type of font we should be looking for so you can see you know this type of bold font in a way you get it uh -huh. so we should look for something similar in canva okay so um gagalin i think this font is similar to that the gagalin yeah so you get it then i can change this to the darker gray fantastic so i can see burger you get it and make it bigger and make this one also, you know make it bigger like this then at the top i want to say something like um delicious so i just duplicate this and bring it to the top and i'll change the color um to the orange okay so that we are staying on track so i'm going to i'll go back to change it because i want to use a script font for this so i can search for script okay and there are so many script fonts that would come up but you can choose the one you want so let me just write the delicious first so that um delicious okay so this is what we have um right now and then i come back in here and um, normally what i do is this is something i just want to do what i get to do most of the time is i get to try you know the font i can be changing font and uh, i guess really eat up a lot of my time okay so 
but in this tutorial i wouldn't waste your time in terms of changing font but you know something like this is cool you can also use Brittany okay with the Brittany font so um it's me just trying to give you options you know some of the fonts you can use so Brittany is b r i t t okay um a n y so Brittany font also works very nicely okay so maybe we can just stick to Brittany now let's go into element and add something called splash s p l a s h okay and um, yeah this is the one i was looking for i rotate it a little bit and position it here then i change the color to orange and reduce the size and position it here okay so maybe somewhere here nice one now we want to add a price okay so let's search for price tag okay then we would have some nice price tags over here but we just want to go for something simple okay i would have gone for this but since i'm with the free version of canva um what i'll just simply do is i can choose this one okay then make it smaller position it here and what i can do is i can change the red color of this to maybe orange and the you know the black or whatever we have here to white okay so that it looks something like this and um okay so now that we have this we want to add the price to so that people can at least um know the price before the order okay so i just duplicate this text and bring it here and um i select when i say maybe i'll use my currency okay so ours is the city sign so Alt 155. And just in case you're in Ghana, you want to know the city sign is Alt 155. Okay, then I can see maybe 10 cities because that sounds, um, you know, it sounds cool for beggar. So 10 cities, and um, I can duplicate this and I can just say only okay, then reduce the size and position it here. Then I hold shift, I can select the 10 and move it down a little bit so that it can be centered in our design. So yes, this is what we have. But wait, before you go, I want us to do this, maybe to add a tagline. Okay, delicious beggar. Um, then we can say today's deal. No, maybe you just want them to know that it's a deal for today. Okay, so yeah, we have this and um, yeah. This is what we were able to create in canva and i hope you enjoyed this the name has always been benjamin and what you can also do is you can also um leave a comment you know on the next design you want me to make and i would i always go through the comment so i'll take note of that and i'll come up with a design so yes the name is benjamin and i would personally see you in my next tutorial